everyone and welcome back to my channel i am mustafa today we are starting a new lab series titled introduction to data analytics on google cloud you all agree with me that data is empowering it can help transform your business and individual needs to begin that transformation let's dive into the world of bigquery Google's cloud blazing fast serverless multi-cloud data warehouse designed to help you modernize your analytics strategy. Using standard SQL, BigQuery allows you to start querying gigabytes to petabyte of data in seconds. But what if you have a massive query? It automatically harnesses thousands of CPU cores to execute the query for you quickly. You can even query streaming data from your web mobile app or iot devices in real time bigquery lets you query in other storage systems you can run open source data science workload and simply analyze data in google sheets you can also create interactive reports and dashboard with Looker. and by combining bigquery business intelligence engine your favorite business intelligence tool with BigQuery built-in machine learning capabilities you can predict business outcomes with sql like dialect all without moving your data. BigQuery is secure and meets the most stringent regulatory standard. Data is encrypted in transit and at rest by default, and it's automatically replicated, restored, and backed up to ensure business continuity. Sharing and collaboration are also very easy with BigQuery. You can decide who can securely access your data. You can also create a read-only data set or share a BI report with just one click. BigQuery can help individual and organization also jumpstart their data transformation with flexible pricing model that you can mix and match like the pay-as-you-go and on-demand flat rate models. So going back to this lab, I'll be putting you in a driver's seat to explore the following tasks. First, we are going to learn how to query a public data set, tapping into the vast resources available through BigQuery. Thereafter, I would guide you through creating a new data set and establishing a foundation for your data operations. Thereafter, we would load our data into a new table where we can master the steps to import and manage your data effectively. And finally, I would also show you how to query a custom table, enabling you to interact insights tailored to your specific need. So buckle up and get ready to unlock the capabilities of BigQuery. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let's jump right in. As usual, we'll start our lab. Click on Start Lab. After starting our lab, we'll open our lab in an incognito window. And I'm just going to grab my password with me. The username get copied automatically. So here we are. Copy the password. And we should sign in into our GCP console for this lab. So we are signing into our GCP console for this lab. And here we are on our dashboard page. I'm just going to agree to the terms and service. And um, this is a sneak peek of our dashboard page. It's um, the overview page in front. So the first thing as usual, let's activate our cloud shell. Even though we'll probably not be using our cloud shell for this lab. So we'll click on continue. So it's you can see it's provisioning our cloud shell machine. And after it has provisioned our cloud shell machine, we can then connect to our cloud shell instance. Here we are. So with the G Cloud Hot list. So I'm going just going to authorize this. And now we can see our um, active accounts. And we can also run G Cloud config list projects to see our projects for this lab. And so this is the project we have on. And um, that's um, pretty much about just um, the cleaning that we need to do. So let's um, get started into our lab. For tax one, we want to open BigQuery. So we've done all this part. So for tax one, let's open BigQuery. So to just um, open BigQuery, you can come here. So BigQuery is one of the popular searches. Click on BigQuery. Yeah, so done. And here we are. This is the BigQuery editor. This is the editor homepage. And this is where we have um, data sets. 
just them um, a quick walkthrough this is where we have data sets and then um, there are different um, data sets that we have there are also some public data sets that we can um, interact with so you can see the shared query here these are the notebooks when you are connecting llms with this and um, this is the data canvases and these are some um, external connections that you can also um, query from but that's um, just um, pretty much about that let's keep going so the first thing we are done with tax one um, we are done with tax one so for tax two we want to query a public data set that's a data set that is publicly accessible to us from bigquery so you don't need to upload this this comes with um, all bigquery account for you to practice so this is the query that we would run currently and i'll just um, format this query so that it's more readable so this is a standard sql and anything like this is a it's a it's a comment and it's not going to get run so we are selecting the weight underscore pounds we are selecting the state the year and the gestation weeks column from the bigquery public data which is which contains some um, natality samples and we are hot we are ordering by the weight pound descending and we are limiting our results to just 10 entries so when you run this query you'd see that we just have 10 entries um, ordered by the weight pound in descending order like ordered by this weight pound in descending order for you so that's um, pretty much us exploring how we can run a query on on bigquery so the next thing we have to do is also that um, before we just go ahead so when you look at um, all these things they can help you i'm just going to copy this and run it somewhere else so that we can see what we actually want to do see the amount of queries the amount of them um, you can give us an insight into the cost that this query is going to is going to cost when we are running this particular query and another thing you can do is that it can also help us when we have an error with our with our query so i'm just going to omit i'm going to throw an error here so that it can it can help us to detect the error so let me remove this form so you can see it's telling us that query without a form clause cannot have an order by so we have to have a form a form so i'm returning the form and you can see that it's now um it's now able to run it another way you can run a query is that you can just um, highlight it and click on run you can highlight it and click on run so it's the same thing and we'll have our data back so that's pretty much about that let's keep going so we can check if we've completed this particular tax so tax complete for tax three let's create a new data set so data sets are the data set can house multiple tables under them so data set are like the um like the family whereby we can have multiple tables under them so let's create a new data set and we'll call our data set baby names so from here we we'll just um, click on this and create a data set so to create a data set our data set id is baby names as prescribed by the lab and you can just leave all these things in there as as it is for a start and let's click on create data set so we've created data set and we can explore our data set that we've created so you can see the data set that we have with a default table expiration of 60 days there about and um, these are just um, pretty what we need the next thing we can do is let's keep following the instruction rather so let's keep following the instruction and then we've added our data set for tax three yeah so for tax four we want to load data into our new table so there are different ways you can load data in into bigquery tables and um, to do that you just um, click on this and create a table so when you are creating a table you can either um, create an empty table with the schema that you need and now write data into it at a later time but you can also create data from google cloud storage for if your data lies in google cloud storage and you want to just then um, bring them into bigquery you can use this option if you want to upload data from your local computer or your local device you can use this option if your data is on google drive you can also use this option of drive if your data is on google, google big table you can use this option amazon s3 and azure blob storage so that's um, the options that are here by default but there are some 
options you can also um, explore using federated queries but um now that's about that but what we are going to use for this lab is from google cloud storage and i'm just going to grab the link to our data so this data it's a publicly accessible bucket and this data is inside our bucket so let's um get that yeah and the format that we want it is csv so the data set is table is baby names and we can we have to like choose a name for our table so the name that's prescribed from from this lab is names underscore 2014 so i'm just going to use the name as it is and i'm also going to um edit the edit the schema so you can choose auto detect schema and bquery is able to auto generate the schema for you but for this lab we'll just use them um, edit as text and for the edit as text these are the schema that we are using so if you take a look at the data inside this underlining resource you see that it just contains three columns which is the name the gender and the count so i'm just going to do it this way you can also leave it the other way bigquery is able to understand so i'm telling bigquery that for the name column you should take it as a string for the gender column you should take it as a string and for the count column you should take it as an integer and that's um, pretty much what we have for loading our data into a new table and after that we can just um these are some partitioning some advanced options but would not go over them now as this is just um, an introduction so let's click on the table let's create our table and our table is created we can go to the table so you can see this is the table and we can see the details of the table so we created it today so the table expiration is october 7 this is the number of rows the total logical bytes and j about we can also preview the information in a table so we have the name the gender and the count from our um, from our public bucket publicly accessible bucket on bigquery so these are the names the gender and the counts and everything are just in bigquery in in no time so let's see if we've completed this part this part is also complete so for tax 5 we want to preview the table and we've already previewed the table like i showed before so for tax 6 let's query a custom data set so querying a custom data set means we want to query um, the table that we just uploaded let's query it and this is a sample query that they have for us but i'll think about a new query that we can also run and see um, information about that so let's um, create a new um, editor and this is also a standard sql so this flag does not need to be there you can delete it there's nothing it's doing and um, a good thing is to format your query so that's more readable so we are selecting the name the count from baby names this is the link to the table so if you look at if i click on this now you can see this table under these details so this is the path to this table id that we can use so you can either use the project name the data set name and the table name or you can just use the data set name and the table name also so you can see that in the one that was used here they were only using the data set name and the table name let's run this one so what we are doing we are, we are selecting where the gender is equal to m and where the count is descending so we are looking at the descending count of people with the names and we are limiting our result to five so if i remove the limits you would see that would have more results when i click on one so it's going to just them um, order everything for us we had, where the gender is m and it's going to order by count descending so we have over um, fourteen thousand records for that so let's um do some little things let's change to f and let's um let's look at our table what, what else can we call let's preview our table once again so the name the gender the count so i can let's use the gender equals to f let's order by counts but now let's use ascending so we can also run this and you see that it's going to start from the least count to the highest count so starting from five till the end and when you're exploring your data set also you can see it in you can check the json format of your data by clicking on json so you can see your data in json format you can take a look at the execution details and the execution graph but all these are just um, not really necessary for you as a beginner at the moment so another thing is you can also view it more more results per page viewing it in 200 so 200 is the highest you can view and you can um, 
move to the, the ending or move to the next step, tab. So that's pretty much on exploring how you can query custom tables and pretty much um, run any um, standard SQL in BigQuery. And there are some BigQuery compliance syntax that helps you also wrangle your data or make sense of your data a whole lot. So that's all about this. Let's check our progress. Our progress is also complete. So, and the next thing is to test our understanding. So we have a true or false question that we would use to reinforce our understanding. So it's, they are asking us that um, BigQuery is a fully managed enterprise data warehouse that enable super fast SQL query. So from the explanation I've done, from the start of this video, we know that that is true. And we can just um, click on true. So if you click on false, you'll be wrong, but you have to click on true, true is correct. So that's um, all for this lab and congratulations for staying to the end of this lab with me. And um, this is just an introduction part to data analytics on Google Cloud. And we are just um, doing a, a first dive into BigQuery. There's still a whole lot to explore from BigQuery and other data analytics tools on Google Cloud. And don't forget to stay along with us as we continue this series. Thank you very much for staying to the end of this lab. If you enjoyed this lab, give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to share to your loved ones. And also, Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. Bye for now.